I'm Corey. I'm Chris. And, and you're watching Texian Army, Army TV. On this episode, we bring you inside information with KHOU's Matt Musil, and we introduce newly signed Dynamo players Ford, Addy Akenby, and defender Andrew Hainault, coming up on Texian Army TV. Hey Dynamo fans, I'm Jeremiah Geigels and this is Texan Army TV. We are here on location where Texan Army members and other Dynamo fans have been invited for the first show for Dynamo Insider on 11.2 with host Matt Musil. Is it different from the other sports covering the Dynamo, the three major sports? Well, you know, the three major sports get so much coverage all the time. And people will ask me about a Dynamo match. I'll come back and I'm like, are you kidding me? That was a phenomenal match. Oh, really? What was the final? one nothing. Oh, yeah. Phenomenal? Yeah, great, great. No, no, really, it was. And so for people, the, you know, the casual viewers that have not been to a Dynamo game, they need to just go and see. It's like uh, we were breaking the, the match down with Pat Onstead and Brian Ching earlier. All the key moments... Yeah, it was one nothing uh, last week, but if Pat doesn't make those great saves, if Chingy doesn't make that great header, you know, there are great plays made all over the field, even though it was just 1-0. You uh, interviewed some of the Texan Army in Cancun. What do you think about the traveling support there? <laughs> Is that your cameraman you're talking about? Uh, the uh, Texian Army is phenomenal wherever, wherever they go. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, whatever city that the Dynamo plays in, there are Dynamo fans. You know, they're taking road trips with the guys. Maybe they don't stay in the same hotel. Maybe they do. But there are Dynamo fans uh, wherever we go, and that's fun to see. Uh, last year, you were wearing the orange, that snazzy orange blazer. How did you get a hold of one of those? <laughs> okay, uh, that blazer uh, from Dynamo Insider. Here's the inside information. It came from Stillwater, Oklahoma. Uh, Hear that, Jeff? Stillwater, Oklahoma. I don't know if they have it. No, I'm sure they have some more left up there. But Oliver Luck and I were trading jackets, and for a live shot on a dare back in 07, Ollie said, hey, why don't you wear this? And so I start wearing it. The people back here at Channel 11 on the set, they go nuts over it. And so I started wearing it throughout the playoffs. And when we celebrated on, on the field the MLS Cup championship, you guys are probably there in D.C. Uh, before I did my live shot, Ollie said, well, you got to put the jacket on. <laughs> and Stuart Holden at the time was running around on the field <laughs> with the jacket. jacket right. That's where it came from. So tell us about this uh, the new show, Dynamo Insider on 11.2. Uh, what what do the fans are? What are they going to expect out of this show? It's going to be different from other shows. Yeah, just more uh, inside stuff. Now, what happened here tonight on Dynamo Insider Primetime is Dom was unable to be here. He had a scheduling problem, but I love to hear Dominic Kinnear the way he breaks down a game. And we've got a special telestrator. One of the things we're going to do, and we've got all the players. All 22 players are on there. You can move them around, and, and, and Dom will go into and break it down how he gets his formations and how he attacks uh, other formations. And um, that's, just, that's just one element. Glenn Davis is on that show. He's, he's the, the best uh, soccer expert in the city, I think. He just uh, does a great job and, uh, on his radio shows, and we've got him on there. And then we'll, we have uh, uh, features with the players, uh, and uh, it's just a fun time. That's Dynamo Insider. And i got to tell you, they always tell me, don't say 11.2, it's 11.2. I don't know the difference, but 11.2. Digital. I'll make a mental note of that. <laughs> Matt, thank you so much for joining us. You well, we, uh, thank you for the invitation, Omi. We appreciate yeah, it. We'll oh, be watching. Thanks for coming. Our next game on 11.2 is May 16th, New York Red Bulls from Giant Stadium. We hope some of the uh, Texan Army might be over there. We'll see what happens. Yeah, probably so. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. All right. Hey, Dynamo fans, Adi Akinbay, Adi uh, Great job out there. Um, so what do you think about the pitch as far as uh, playing with your teammates uh, back here in Houston? Um, it was good. I mean, as I said, I, was, I felt a bit tired today, obviously jet lagged, but it was, it was worth getting a little practice match in, so just to get my fitness going, yeah. Will you be ready for the uh, game with uh, the Revolution next Sunday? Well, I hope so. I mean, as I said, I'm back to training on Monday. Um, get my fitness going and as I said um, obviously the more tra the more training I do the more fit I'll get yeah let me ask you this culture shock 
with the traffic, the weather? What do you think about all that? No, I think it's okay. I mean, there's, there's not a lot of traffic, as I see in the city, but um, it's a bit different. And obviously the weather's a bit different, but it's something I have to get used to. Wait till the week. It's going to be really bad. Hey Dynamo fans, we are with Canadian Defender and now new Houston Dynamo, Andrew Haynall. Andrew, congratulations on being a, officially the new Dynamo player, new defender. Andrew, give us your impressions, your first take when you went to Austin, Texas and, and uh, got to play the Aztecs. Give us your impressions on uh, the level of play and being with your teammates on the field. Uh, well, I mean, well, that wasn't the first impression I'd played before here against Dallas. We went to L.A., but uh, first impressions are, I mean... Uh, you can see right away uh, from being at the first training or first game why they've won two championships in the last uh, in the last three years. Um, you know the veteran players here are, were like you know players I've never seen before. You know the the mentality here, so it's been it's been great, and you know you can you can you can see right away why they've won so many championships. Tell us about um, the the traveling support in Austin. A lot of the guys, uh, 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 Texan Army, uh, was happy to see you uh, play on the field in Austin, Texas. What did you think about the traveling support? I thought it was great. You know, I tried to make a point after the game to go around to the supporters and say thanks, shake their hands. Uh, it was sort of, you know, it was it was nice. It wasn't, you know, the the big a uh, big MLS rivalry like when we played Dallas, you know, when they came up here. But it was great to get, you know, I don't know, we had must have had a couple hundred fans up there to come support us, and you know. It, it's it's always great to have that, and we we try to you know to make a point after the game to go say thank you to the to the fans. Do your uh, teammates ever give you or tease you about your your hair it being red? The only redhead in, uh, in the locker room. Do they ever tease you about it? You know what? It's probably only Stewart who tries to give me stick, but he's got nothing to say the way he dyes his hair and and that's tanning salons he goes to. But uh, he's probably the only one. Most of the guys uh, I think they're jealous of it, so they just uh, they just keep quiet. I think. Now the team has two Canadians, not just one. What do you think about that? Well, Pat, I don't even know if Pat's a real Canadian. He's been here so long. But, uh, yeah, I guess, you know, there used to be Dwayne here, and, uh, and now I'm here. So uh, I, guess, I guess they do like Canadians. <laughs> and there goes the... Uh, Thanks, guy. Did you guys get, get a pick of uh, Kai's sure car like today with the, with the bubble wrap in there, whatever it was? <laughs> All right, Andrew, thank you so much for joining Thanks us. Lot, guys. Thanks for support. Take care. Next Sunday, the Dynamo are on the road as they set their sights on the New England Revolution. Then join us on May 9th as the men in orange face FC Frisco and battle to bring home El Capitan. Until next time, see you in the South End. I'm Corey Ashe. <laughs> <laughs>